Thanks for joining us, Kelly. So what did you make of the Prime Minister's apology? I'm very happy to hear that um, the federal government will be looking for the missing Inuit in unmarked graves. I am also sad to say um, it's a little too late for my family who have already lost my aunt to a policewoman's mother. Um, when, uh, they, when my mother and her sisters were taken away to Musuni for TB treatment, um, w one of their sisters didn't come back and they thought she had passed, but she was um, adopted out unknowingly by, uh, by our family. Um, so there's, I mean, for people at home who maybe don't know the full impact that uh, tuberculosis has had and the fallout of it, can you just explain to viewers, like, what's, what's a typical uh, outcome or impact, I guess? Um, you had already mentioned your families, but what are some of the other horror stories that you've heard that are related to this that maybe people aren't aware of? Um, when my mother was in the sanatorium, she was only a toddler, and they would tie her up as if she's in an insane asylum. Mm -hmm and they would not change her. They mistreated her while she was there. They did not treat her like a human being. Mm -hmm. And although I understand a lot of us Inuit survived because of those sanitaria sanatoriums, a lot of us have scars because of the mistreatment of Inuit when they were there. Did you, did you have, what did you make of the Prime Minister's words uh, specifically? Did you feel that they were heartfelt? Were you impacted in any way by what he'd said or how he'd said it? I believe the Prime Minister has only, uh, he only has good intentions, but with the apology, I only hope that he, along with his government, will make sure that we, uh, we avoid dying from TB by getting proper housing so mm -hmm. 10 people aren't sleeping in a two-bedroom apartment. I hope that with this apology, they give affordable food and give transparency to the stores mm -hmm. to make sure we can eat properly if we're sick with TB and survive it. Mm -hmm. I hope as well of this, uh, with this apology, they will also give us proper education and more funding so that we ourselves can we Inuit can become doctors and nurses and mental health workers to deal with the fact that a lot of us are grieving over some people that had passed and never came back home and also to grieve over uh, the people who are passing away right now from mm -hmm. TB. We need mental health workers to help us cope with the grief and we need proper health care to make sure this does not keep happening. Right now, mm -hmm. uh, we are suffering from TB still to this day because no one is doing anything about the fact that a lot of our issues comes from the fact that the federal government is not giving us enough resources to be able to, to avoid dying from TB. What are your thoughts on the launch of a database to help Inuit find relatives' grave sites? Like I said earlier, I'm very happy to hear this, but for my family, we have already lost some, some people, and um, she isn't in a grave. She's in a, she's in a community called Bridgewater in Nova Scotia in an in a older mental health facility. Mm. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to share your thoughts on today's apology with us. Thanks. Thank you.